What's going on, y'all? So, you probably tell by the title of the video what we're going to be talking about today. So, let's cut the shit and let's jump right into it. So, Upchurch, about two days ago, released a video titled Operation Ghost. And in that video, he talked about his career. You know, he's been making music for about 10 years now, released 20 albums. And, you know, he's gone through a plethora of fucking bullshit in his career from people stealing from him ex-girlfriends filing fake charges against him and saying that he's on drugs and that he's mentally crazy and that he has dead bodies buried in his backyard on ghost ranch you know to his fucking mother st stealing millions of dollars from him and buying homes in his fucking name without him realizing it and then to his fucking father, who isn't much of a father to him, you know, telling him he won't be shit. He won't amount to nothing. So now, also now when Upchurch is big and famous and makes all this fucking money, now Upchurch's dad is like, give me money, give me money. And when Upchurch stands up for himself, I'm like, no, I'm not going to give you money. Upchurch's dad goes online like, my son's on drugs, my son's on drugs. You know, it's fucking bullshit, you know. And it just, you know, it breaks my heart when shit like that happens, you know, because people like me, you know, have followed up church as long as I have. You know, he's inspiration for us, you know, he's inspired me. I remember when I first, you know, found up church. I was in high school and I was trying to figure out who I was as a person then. And I was battling mental health because at the time that I found him. I was, I had just lost my best friend who I've known my entire life at that point. We basically grew up together and he killed himself. And then the girl I was dating at the time, we broke up. And I was dealing with that, dealing with the loss of my best friend and my dad and I weren't getting along because he too was also battling his mental health as well. And... So it was real hard for us. And I remember I was laying in bed and I was plotting my own suicide. I was saying about how I was going to do it, how I was going to write the suicide letters and where I was going to go, what time. I literally had it down to the exact time of day that I was going to commit it and how I was going to, uh, where I was going to put the suicide notes and everything. And I went onto my phone, just went onto my phone and the first thing that popped up was YouTube and the first video on there was come and get it by Upchurch and that intro you know when he talks about you know doing shit the same way someone else's does that ain't fucking legendary going out paving your own trail doing shit your own way that's fucking legendary when he when I heard that intro that spoke to my soul and I knew what my purpose was on this earth and I knew the good Lord wanted me out here to help inspire young men and women who are just like me, who were in the same situation that I was in when I found up church, you know, <laughs> battling your mental health, not knowing where you belong at in this world and inspiring them to keep going and do things their own way, you know? And that's why I've, me and millions of other people have been following up church and listening to his music and watching his videos for 10 years now. You know, that's the longest time to, you know, be following somebody, you know? And, you know, and just seeing this shit that happens to him just really not only breaks my heart, but pisses me off, you know. Because I just can't fathom why people do that to him. And, you know, and especially with the most recent issue that's happened with the Redneck Nation. With Bobby being a fucking spineless coward that he is, you know. Talking shit to the one man that helped you build your company to where it's at now. And you go and you fucking stab him in the fucking back. And you too conspire with his mom and his dad. Saying that he's on drugs and that he's mentally not there. Some fucking bullshit. That is, that is just, you know, because I, when Upchurch was repping Redneck Nation real hard, I did too. I remember going online and spending my first, literally, the, my entire first paycheck for my very first job on nothing but Redneck Nation hats, shirts, hoodies, 
I got a Confederate flag from Red Egg Nation that's hung up in my bedroom. You know, I just went full send on it, you know? Spent hundreds of dollars on Red Egg Nation merch, you know? And then seeing this is like, what the fuck, you know? Very uh, frustrating and upsetting. And then later on in the video, Upchurch, you know, talks about how he's going to do it again. He's going to do what he did in the last 10 years. He's going to go and do it again. And he talks about, um, you know, which to me, you know, shows how much Upchurch loves music in general. Just shows how talented he is and that, you know, this is his purpose. This is why the good Lord had put Upchurch on this earth you know, was to make music. And his music is different from other artists. You know, other artists, they're all, they belong to a particular genre of music. You know, like Alan Jackson with country music. And you got, you know, Johnny Cash and Waylon Jennings with country as well. And you got like uh, Alice in Chains, Metallica, you know, Nirvana, Linkin Park. They're, they're rock and heavy metal. And then you go and you got 50 Cent, Mac Miller, Lil Wayne, and rap. Right? Upchurch, you know, he's a musician. He's not a, he doesn't, he's not like a country, he's not, I wouldn't say he's a country rapper. I wouldn't say he's a rock artist. I wouldn't even say he's a country, um, a country artist either. He's a music artist and he makes music and that's his art, you know. He's just an artist in general and his, and, like with Picasso and uh, Vincent Van Gogh, they were painters, whereas Upchurch does music. And you can just hear the talent in his music, you know, from his songs from Desperado, uh, Built Like That, uh, Ghost Ranch, Nash Vegas, and, you know, Rolling Stone, just hear his lyrics. It's like his lyrics or the paintbrush and it's just flawlessly and do i think upchurch will ever quit i don't think upchurch will quit until he's dead upchurch will be making music to the day he fucking dies to the day he takes his last breath you can guarantee upchurch will be making music now there'll be times in upchurch's career where he will do what he's doing now which is taking a break from all the bullshit to process it and to figure out what he's gonna do next you know, every artist does this at some point in their career, you know? It's, it's called life. You know, we're all humans. We're not like robots. You know, we're humans. We all have emotion. Upchurch, he's a, he's a person just like we are. You know, he, he has emotions. He has feelings. And sometimes in life, when you got a lot of fucked up shit that's happening to you, especially with Upchurch, especially within the last six months, you know, you need time to process it, handle it appropriately you know instead of just taking it in taking it in taking it in you know because eventually it's going to come out and it's going to come out very violently some people they act out violently and they attack people others you know they drink 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 until it kills them some people kill themselves you know that's why you get a lot of these artists rap mainly lately rappers and stuff and rock artists that kill themselves either with shooting themselves or alcohol because they just can't take the stress no more it fucking can't because, you know, they're going, 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 going. And they don't take time for themselves, their own mental health. And, you know, and I think we can all t uh, take a big lesson from this, what's going on with Upchurch, and apply it into our own lives, you know. And make sure, you know, in our busy lives, we take time for ourselves and really, you know, process shit that's going on in our lives. You know, if you've got a lot of stress going on, we, either with work, you're with your significant other, family, you know, friends you know, or your own insecurities, you know, you just take time for yourself and process it, you know, it's okay to do that, it's okay to take a break every now and then, you know, especially with guys, because especially in today's society, it's frowned upon for guys to talk about their emotions, to talk about their feelings, how they're feeling, you know, it's shown as weak, as a weakness, but in reality, it's not a weakness, it's a weakness if you don't talk about it, I find it as a strength, you know, when someone talks about how they're feeling, you know, that shows to me that they are self-aware and that they have control over their emotions, you know? Because, you know, when you don't talk about it, 
it builds up. You know, you may push it away. You may feel fine right now, but years down the road, it's going to come back. And that's something I had to learn too. Because there was shit that happened that happened to me when I was in high school. You know, because I was bullied. I was bullied. Throughout high school, you know. And a lot of times I, I would ignore it at the moment. I would ignore it and ignore it and ignore it. And, you know, I ignored it for years. Even years after high school, I ignored it. And then, you know, there's one day. A couple years ago. When I had to. It just came back out of the blue. And I had to deal with it. You know, and that doesn't mean that that doesn't make me any less of a man. It just means I'm, I'm a human. And that's exactly what Upchurch is doing. You know, he's taking time for himself. You know, he's taking time to process everything and kind of take a new approach to his music career. You know, now that he has all this knowledge with the industry, record labels and writing music and producing music and promoting music and doing shows and merchandise all that shit that comes with making music you know he has a lot of fucking knowledge on it you know and i believe upchurch will come back and he will come back in a way that none of us that includes all of us creakers and creek squad youtube reactors like myself um and you know, even his buddies like Deardorf, one of his lifelong buddies, his cousin Billy, Belus, his uh, videographer and manager, and Stoner, you know, his produce his producer for almost every single one of his twenty albums, minus one. The album that he just released, Blue Jeans, he did that with Kalani on the beat. You know, he's gonna come back and do shit that none of us thought was possible. And Mark my words, guys. Mark my fucking words. But, you know, we can all take that as inspiration in our own lives and apply it to, you know, to our lives. But, uh, you know, that's probably that's for me it for today, guys. Uh, that's all I got for y'all. But if you guys want me to do more videos like this, we talk about stuff like this, serious stuff about mental health. Let me know in the comments below. I definitely like talking about it because it's something that's highly important to me. And I think it needs to be talked about more. So if we should make another video talking about mental health, let me know in the comments below. I will definitely be sure to do that. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get this uploaded and edited and get another reaction on the way. Um, but yeah, I will catch you all later. Hope you guys have a good Friday evening. Uh, if you guys do go out and go drink with your buddies, make sure you uh, stay the night or call an Uber. Don't be a dumbass and go out and drive under the influence. But anyways, y'all, I hope you guys have a good weekend. I'll catch y'all later. Peace.